What's going on you guys? Do not be freaked out by my appearance. First of all, happy Thanksgiving. And um, yeah, radio never stops, even on holidays. So I'm here, <laughs> not even lying, at 5.45 in the fucking morning, all the way until noon, doing the early morning shift. I luckily got the best shift for Thanksgiving though, because I actually get to leave here at noon and go eat with my family and all the other people who love me. <laughs> It sucks for the guy who has to come in here for the 12 to 6. That's the shift that nobody wants. So anyway, I'm here at the radio station, and I've got to talk to you guys about the AMA Awards. Um, I just got back from seeing Trans-Siberian Orchestra late last night, and I had to be in here at, you know, 6. So I got like four hours of just laying there in bed. I didn't even get to sleep at all. Um, so I look like hell. But forgive that. Um... The AMA Awards. What is wrong with America? What the fuck is wrong with America? These fucking categories and the people who were running for them and stuff like that, it's just fucking bullshit. Okay. Um, International Song Award. I'm going to start from the bottom and go up. Chopstick Brothers Little Apple. Don't know a damn thing about the Chopstick Brothers. But they're both Asian, so the name already is a bit racist. Um, International Artist Award, Zhang Jai. Once again, no idea. Can't really comment on, mu on much of that. Top Soundtrack, Frozen. This does not surprise me at all. People love the movie Frozen, and I'll admit some of the songs of that movie are pretty damn good. But it beat out Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy definitely beats the Frozen soundtrack. <laughs> how how could a, a soundtrack full of like 70 songs and stuff like that get beaten out by a musical album? I mean, I guess I kind of understand. Frozen was a hot, hot movie. It's still a hot movie. But the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack was fucking amazing. <clears throat> the other one was The Fault in Our Stars, and I don't really understand that, why that's even nominated. Favorite electronic dance music, EDM artist. Calvin Harris won this. And, you know, Calvin Harris, he's a big name. A lot of people love Calvin Harris. Um, it, that That's a huge single that he has. I mean, people still dance to that. I like that song. But what disappoints me about this is he beat out Avicii. Avicii's album was so much more diverse, incorporating some jazz elements and some country elements into his electronic music. I think he has a whole lot more going for him, and I think he was more deserving of that award. But, you know, Calvin Harris, big name, going to be hard to beat that. I think Avicii deserved it, though, because at least his production and the music that he makes is a little bit more diverse, a little bit more interesting electronic music to listen to. Just my opinion. Um, let's see. Favorite contemporary artist for inspirational? This is like Christian music, I guess. Uh, Hillsong United, Newsboys. The winner was uh, Casting Casting Crowns. I don't, I don't, I don't really have much to say on, on that. Um, I don't really listen to religious music. Favorite artist in Latino? Enrique Iglesias won that. No big surprise. Uh, Mark Anthony was also running, but he's like old now, and I've never even heard of Romeo Santos. So Enrique Iglesias, I'll give you that one. That one makes sense to me. Favorite artist, adult contemporary, Katy Perry. Up against Sarah, Sarah Bareilles and One Republic. I don't even know if this is the complete list of nominees. I'm just going by what this website has on it, so forgive me. Uh, you know, against those two, I guess Katy Perry would be the best choice. Um, Sarah Bareilles has two songs. I don't even like One Republic. Um, at least Prism had some decent songs on it. Even her older albums have some decent songs on them. Favorite artist, Alternative Rock, Imagine Dragons. The other artist nominated for this, uh, Bastille and Lord. Bastille should have won this, in my opinion, because his music has a little bit more of a worldly influence. It's a little bit more interesting. He also has a really nice voice. And I'm not even sure if why Lord is an alternative rock. That doesn't really make any sense to me, personally. But, uh, yeah, Imagine Dragons won that. They have one song. I don't, I don't get that shit at all. Favorite album in Soul and R&B, Beyonce's album. This one, I agree with. Beyonce's album was sexy. Every song on that album was about her getting boned, and I like that shit. Um, 
she won against John Legend, uh, Love in the Future, and Pharrell Williams' Girl. Girl was a terrible album. I was going to review that, never got around to it. Uh, Girl had like three good songs on it. So, <laughs> Beyonce, I think she deserves that out of those two, honestly. Favorite female artist, Beyonce once again. Up against Janine Accio, I don't even know who the hell that is, and Mary J. Blige. Once again, kind of agree with that. Favorite male artist, soul and R&B, John Legend. Beat out Chris Brown and Pharrell Williams. I don't even know why the fuck Chris Brown is here. Pharrell Williams, he was pretty hot, though. I'm surprised he didn't win that. But, whatever. Favorite album in hip-hop and rap. This is where I got fucking pissed off. Iggy Azalea, the new classic. Beat out Drake's Nothing Was the Same and Eminem's The Marshall Mathers LP 2. I don't even care that much about any of those albums mentioned there, but Eminem should have won that shit. How in the holy fuck is the new classic a rap hip-hop type of album? You saw my Let's Listen of that album. It is fucking trash, okay? God damn, that's fucking stupid. Favorite artist in hip-hop and rap? Once again, Iggy Azalea, Beat Out Drake and Eminem. She won favorite album and favorite artist. That is bullshit. I swear to God, people, you gotta fucking listen to some better-ass music, dude. Son of a bitch, that album's terrible. Favorite album in country, Brantley Gilbert beat out Eric Church and Garth Brooks. I feel like Eric Church would have won this, especially where I'm from. Nobody will shut the fuck up about Eric Church. But I don't really care about that. Not too much into the, uh, the modern country. Favorite band, duo, or group in country, Florida Georgia Line won this against Lady Antebellum and the Eli Young Band. Once again, don't care. Florida Georgia Line is actually pretty good. You should go check out some of their stuff. They mix a little bit of rock in with their acoustic music, so I agree with that one. Favorite female artist in country, Carrie Underwood. I don't even... What has she even done this year? Uh, she beat out Casey Musgraves and Miranda Lambert. Casey Musgraves should have won that shit. Okay, her album was great. Same trailer, different park. That was an amazing country album. I can't believe she didn't win that. Don't agree with that. Uh, favorite male artist for country, Luke Bryan. He beat out Jason Aldean and Blake Shelton. Once again, don't really care. Oh my god. Favorite album in pop and rock. One fucking direction. Beat out Pure, Lord, Pure Heroin by Lord and Katy Perry's Prism. Lord should have won that shit. If they're going to put it in pop rock, Lord should have won. One Direction beats out Lord. At least Lord has some fucking soul in her music. Lord is actually pretty good. God, fuck that shit. Favorite band, duo, or group? One Direction, once again, beats out Imagine Dragons and One Republic. What to fucking direction? God damn, that's fucking... Favorite female artist? Katy Perry, once again, beats out Iggy Azalea and Lord. Once again, Lord should have won that shit, for God's sake. At least her music has some soul to it. Favorite male artist? Sam Smith. That song is overrated as fuck, okay? Beat out John Legend and Pharrell Williams. Once again, surprise Pharrell didn't win that. Single of the Year, Dark Horse by Katy Perry. That's good. Beat out fucking Fancy, All of Me by John Legend, Rude, and Happy. I'm surprised All of Me didn't win that shit. Same thing with that Magic song. Um, I guess Dark Horse is a pretty, pretty good song, though. I'll get you that one. Um, Dick Clark Award for Excellence was won by Taylor Swift. Not even sure what the hell that is. Artist of the... Artist of the Year represented by Coles. Five Seconds of Summer beat out Iggy Azalea, Bastille, Sam Smith, and Megan Trainer. The competition, you know, I guess you don't got much to work with. Once again, Bastille should have won that shit, because at least his music is different in some way. Artist of the Year. Artist of the Year. One Direction. Bullshit. Beat out Iggy Azalea, Beyonce, Luke Bryan, and Katy Perry. I tell you, man, <clears throat> the AMA Awards are for nothing but for people who listen to the radio and turn on MTV for their music. It's not for anybody who has any desire to go and discover music for themselves. 
I just, the nominees for this and the winners for this both, it's just made up of a bunch of artists that are popular because of, you know, brand recognition and um, fucking music companies. That's all, the, that's all this shit is. It's fucking bullshit. I mean, I just don't understand. In this day and age of listening to music, you have literally no excuse to go and discover stuff better than what you hear on the radio and on MTV. You can go on YouTube, look up any artist and any song and listen to it. Hell, even in some cases, you can go and like listen to full albums on YouTube. You don't need a subscription plan for YouTube. You don't have to sign up for anything to go listen to full albums. Discover something worth a damn. I swear to God, mainstream audiences are fucking horrible people. <laughs> I mean, listen to some music that has some fucking soul. I mean, we're living 2014. Artist of the Year is One Direction. That says something about this fucking country. That says something like, we just want the easiest fucking way, you know? Like, we just, just want the easiest fucking way. Listen to some music with some fucking soul. I mean, god damn. I mean, it's like, I feel like they're all retarded. This music has acoustic instruments, and it's not dancey enough. And there's some jazz music in there. I want to listen to that shit. This music is in a different language, and it scares me. Because if I can't listen to the chorus and sing along, then it really worries me because it has no value when I can't sing along because it's in a different language. This music is boring. It has too many real instruments in it. If the drums don't come from a keyboard, then I don't want to hear that shit. If the music isn't rendered in HD Audio 1080i, then it's automatically bullshit. You're all retarded. You're all fucking retarded. This is my stance on it. Go and listen to something. I'll tell you a fun way to discover some music. Go buy a copy of Grand Theft Auto V, get in a car, and just drive around the map and listen to nothing but Worldwide FM and Radio Mirror Park. Discover some good fucking music. Bullshit. AMAs, fuck them. Fuck, just fuck them. One Direction Artist of the Year. Fucking ass.